next little chocker bait, uh, chocker cob bait I'm going to show you is one I learned from the border boys um, up in the East London area. They they like to fish with two hooks, those guys. They got a, a hook at the bottom, we normally with a fleshy meaty bait, and then they got another hook at the top with this little bait on. And uh, I found, especially when you want to fish with, with a double hook trace, your top hook, um, this little top hook, trap hook, or whatever you want to call it for cob works very well. So I'm going to show you this little bait, very simple. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very thin strip little bait, but very effective in certain conditions, um, especially those days that you're scratching, you're battling for fish, and you've got that double loop trace on. This one always at the top, because it's got no flotation, so you want it to, to sit up there in the, in the working water and, and vibrate and uh, get those little feelers going. Okay. There's a basic shape, you, you cut that uh, piece of chocker, you can even cut it narrow if you want, um, if you want a more little refined bait, but that's sort of the basic shape you're going to cut it. Alright, there's a little bit of a trick to the way you cut this chocker now. Uh, you start off at the top with that feeler, you split it down the middle, until you get to where your feeler's end. The section where your hook's going to come in, you don't cut it through, you just cut it almost through to the bottom. And the reason I, I didn't cut it right through is you actually want to split it open like that now. So that section is, is still closed in there and there's your two feelers open. What you do now before you put the hook in, take your cotton and you tie a little bit of cotton over the end here. So hold it together. Okay, so you see that that's a nice tough little bait. Um, you haven't you haven't smashed the chocker at all with a chocker hammer. So if there's little small fish pick, picking in, uh, at your bait, it's not that easy for them to, to to get the bait off your hook. Okay, after you've made this bait, very simple. Take your hook, thread it through the bait. So it sits nice and proud. Tied on with a the cotton. There you go, it's a simple little bait, streamline, nice little tentacles again for that vibration, and a tough little bait, works like a bomb. Alright, guys, uh, I hope those little baits could help you, but uh, next time you go cob fishing, obviously it takes a bit of practice, it's not the, you're not going to get it right the first time. Go there, sit there, practice until they look good, smell good, and uh, you'll get the results.